First at 10 tonight, they're the first voices you hear when you call for help. Dispatchers answer your emergency phone calls every day, but filling those roles can be a challenge. Good evening, I'm Ann Lurie. And I'm Aaron Leedy. Now in Wilkes-Barre, times are changing. The Luzerne County Emergency Services team is celebrating one of their largest classes ever. Fox 56's Taylor Whartonby has the story. With years of dispatcher shortages, call centers were lucky to get three people to come through the door. And to get 14 has been unheard of, but that's the reality for the Luzerne County Emergency Services team. 14 new members were welcomed, and after their training period, they will put on their headsets and start dispatching calls for service. We need the dispatchers in the seats. It's not only, again, for us, but for the community. Our dispatchers that have struggled through the staffing crisis have worked 16-hour days, um, some of them seven days a week. They just do it. They have the heart and, you know, the ability, and they... They made it a priority to them. Many positive changes were made between the Luzerne County 911 Center and the Emergency Management Agency as they merged. The biggest thing is, is with the merger, that gives us the ability as the Department of Emergency Services to utilize our EOC. Uh, we're unable to obviously accommodate for 14 people at our 911 center. We've never had a class this size. With this class being the largest they've ever had, they can now give their employees more time off, a better work-life balance, and get back to comfortable staffing numbers. Most of our recent classes have been two, and that is a national issue that uh, everybody's kind of been dealing with. We've been really short-staffed for probably the past five, six years. Uh, at one point, we were at 50% of our staffing. From the moment of the phone call, a dispatcher is the person who receives all the crucial information to send to responders, and recruiting them is essential. Some of the incentives that we actually gave to some of the people is changing the shift around a little bit, making it a 12-hour shift. That way, every other weekend, trying to give people every other weekend off, especially with younger people these days, people want a weekend off once in a while. I'm told if all the students pass, they will be nine people away from having a full staff. Reporting in Wilkes-Barre, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. The course is about 10 weeks long in a paid training classroom. They teach the geography of the county down to the computer they'll be using. 